This is amazing. Now we are going to see how to set up your private AI using MLX server, which means 100% it is locally running on your computer without any internet. Check this demo, which is completely running on my phone and it's connected to the MLX server on my computer. In this, we are going to learn how to set up MLX server, how to create the user interface, like a chat interface, and finally test it on your phone. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about running a private AI completely local to your network. In this, we are going to use MLX, Llama 3, and Chainlit UI. I'm going to take you through step-by-step step on how to do this, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, pip install MLX LM and then click enter. Next, python hyphen MLX underscore LM dot server. Then you need to provide the model name. Hyphen hyphen model, MLX community, meta, llama 3, 8B instruct 4-bit. That's the model which I'm going to use. And then click enter. This will automatically download the required model and it will start running the server. In this, I'm going to add one more thing, hyphen hyphen log level debug, and then click enter. This means you are able to see exactly when those response getting generated. Now we have completed the first step of setting up the MLX server. Next, we are going to create user interface using chainlet. So keep this terminal running, that is the MLX server terminal. In a new terminal, pip install chainlet and then click enter. Next, let's create a file called ui.py and then let's open it. Inside the file, from OpenAI, import async OpenAI. Next, import chainlet as CL. Now we are going to define the async OpenAI with the base URL API key. Next, cl.instrument underscore OpenAI. Now we are going to add a decorator cl.onMessage. Then we are going to create a function called onMessage. Here we are going to call the chat completions create function. Here we are providing the normal messages. A system message, you are a helpful bot. Your reply includes emojis. And here we are providing the user message. The model name is llama 38 b temperature zero, max tokens thousand. You can modify the temperature and tokens as per your requirement. That's it. Only this bit of code and you are able to create a chat bot. Now I'm going to run this. In your terminal, type chainlit run ui.py and then click enter. Now the chatbot is running in localhost 8000. I'm going to open it and here is the interface. I'm going to keep the MLX server terminal on the side so we know that a response is happening. So here I'm going to ask a question. Give me a meal plan for today and click enter. Now you can see on the right hand side, the meal plan is getting generated. Towards the end, the response is coming in the chat window as you can see here. I'm going to ask one more question. Give me a small poem and it's generating the response and I got the poem here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the poem and also the meal plan it generated with breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Now I'm going to show you how you can run this on your phone. So keep all this terminal running. Now you need to identify your local IP address. Just in your Wi-Fi settings, click details. There you should be able to see your IP address. So I've copied this IP address and now I'm going to type this on my phone. As you can see here, the Chainlit app is running in port number 8000. So you need to add this colon 8000 after your IP address. And here is how it's going to look like on my phone. And I'm going to keep my terminal on the side. You can also find your local IP address by typing ifconfig and there you should be able to find your IP address. Now you have completed setting up the MLX server, creating the UI and testing it on your phone. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.